Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. Have you ever wished that you could regain access to your computer after you lost your password? Well, Windows 7 has a utility that allows you to do just that, but oftentimes it is too little too late. Either the computer that we have lost the password on never had a rescue disk created, either the hardware wasn't available, or something went wrong. For example, you may not have a floppy disk or a DVD burner on that computer, and you may have forgotten your password. For legitimate reasons, you can go ahead and use a different utility, and that is called the Offline Windows Password and Registry Editor. It is absolutely free, 100% freeware, and I'm going to show you how to get it, use it, and get back into your account. First, we're going to go to Internet Explorer. We're going to go and type in NT Offline, and we're going to see it right there. There it is right there, and it's got a new location. Make sure you're at the right page no matter what. We want to click on Boot Disk, and we want to download the latest file. The latest file is right there, the bootable CD image. Make sure you download that one, not the USB one, because it requires a lot more instruction. Simply download this file, save it to your desktop. And once the file is done downloading, we will go ahead and open that file. It is a zip file. We'll extract it, extract the contents onto the desktop, and you're going to find out that this is just one .iso file. So it's a disk image file. The properties are as so. And what we want to do is burn this to a DVD or a CD, most likely a CD unless you have advanced software. So this is going onto a CDR. You go ahead and use the built-in utility by right-clicking. You go to Verify. You want to burn this disk. And when it's done, this is what you see. We see that we have a bunch of files. And what we need to do is restart Microsoft Windows. Once we restart Windows, we'll launch into the Linux terminal and get your password. With the CD in the tray, we now reboot Windows. We come up here and we hit Escape or F8 and we go to our boot menu around the BIOS area. We definitely select CD-ROM drive, and this will vary from computer to computer how you access your CD-ROM drive, but you boot from CD-ROM. You'll then come up with a Windows Reset Password Registry Editor uh, boot screen here, and you press Enter. There's no reason to really edit those settings there. And now you'll want to automatically start disk drivers. So you type in the letter D. And you do this in order to also identify where Windows is. See, Windows is candidate one listed there. So what you want to do now is go ahead and identify Windows. You hit A. That's the partition that's been found. And you go ahead and you want to press enter because one is already selected. And now you see that there is some debug information going on. We're being asked if this is the registry directory and that is correct. We just press enter again. We press one for password reset. This is the SAM system security. And we can either press one or just press enter since it's the default. And we want to press 1 again to edit user data and passwords. Now there are some policy limits where if you mess up too much, you get locked out here. Okay, so now we see administrator, guest, and Mike. We want to type in Mike because that's where we lost the password. Now in many instances, we can change variables for these accounts, but that's not our goal. Our goal is simply to clear the password, and we accomplish that by pressing 1. 1 will be uh, the option to clear the password and make it a blank password. Password has been cleared, as you see on the screen. And what you want to do now is simply get out of here. The option will typically be the exclamation point, but you can also go back, press Q to quit editing the user, and then do it for safety reasons. 
There's also some discussion about usernames uh, that have multiple characters. For example, John Space Smith. You may have difficulty with that. But notice we press Q here. About to write files back. We want to hit Y for yes. And edit is complete. We do not want to try again. We want to say no. So we press Enter. N is the default. And we now reboot. We control alt delete our computer. And when we come back, you will be in your Windows 7 account. It will have no password attached to it. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to visit us at Windows7Forms.com. I can guarantee you that nine times out of ten, this method will work. Don't fall for advertisements for password recovery software when it is clearly unnecessary, especially when that software is spam.